Middle schoolers of the late 90s, teenagers of the early 2000s, parents who paid too much during trips to the mall, prepare to have your minds blown. Abercrombie & Fitch is saying goodbye to its logo. Apparently today's teens don't want branded clothing and are actually more price conscious these days. Abercrombie sales have been down for 10 straight quarters. This is big news for a company that has been all about its brand. The key to Abercrombie was that its name was on everything. And it seems like the logo is leaving the vast majority, if not all, of the company's clothing. The Columbus Dispatch quotes CEO Mike Jeffries, we'd want to be out of the logo business essentially by next spring. The brand has been in trouble as of late. In 2013, criticism over Abercrombie's lack of larger sizes. Around the same time, a statement Jeffries made back in 2006 resurfaced. He had said only cool kids belong in his clothing and called his company exclusionary. Many took this to mean plus-sized kids weren't as cool and weren't meant to fit into Abercrombie clothing. After that controversy, the company finally relented and said it would offer those more plus-sized customers some options online eventually. We did check several clothing items on the store's website and saw some bigger sizes, but not all clothes had them. Many didn't even offer the size XL. But Jeffries doesn't seem too phased by his company's drop in sales. Forbes has more from him. In a continued challenging environment, our sales for the second quarter were somewhat below plan, but we have seen modest improvement since the back-to-school floor set. Thursday, Abercrombie reported its quarterly sales and acknowledged net sales had decreased by almost 6%. Thanks for watching.